There are three keys I wanna leave you with today that I believe will help enhance your advocacy skills. The first is to take action. It's easy to say that you wanna change the world, and you can, but start small. Writing an email or going to visit your state representative or senator, like we're doing today at Developmental Disabilities Awareness Day, is a great start. It's okay to start small because it builds your confidence for more advocacy. And taking action is better than no action. Unless people are aware of the issues that we're facing, nothing can be done. It is our job to educate and push our issues forward. The second is to find your support. You cannot do this advocacy journey alone. For me, my family, friends, support coordinators, and mentors have been my greatest support. But supports are different for everyone. Maybe for you, it's your friends, your family, teachers, support coordinators, or pastors. But it's critical to have a team of people to encourage you and cheer you on, especially as times get tough. Advocacy isn't a moment, it's a movement. And as they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. The reality is, a lot of the work we're advocating for, the initiatives that we're fighting for in the disability community, aren't going to happen overnight. We're in this for the long haul, which is why it's important to find your people and also take care of yourself too. And the last is to use stories. Your scars, whether they're physical scars or emotional scars, I say they're the things that you've been through, your family's been through, or if you're a provider, the things that your clients have been through, those make your story. And when you're advocating, your story is your biggest asset. Policymakers can argue facts and dollars, but they can't take a personal story or experience away. So embrace your story and use it. Continue to advocate for the things that you've gone through. By doing this, you will change thousands of lives because you helped pave the way. We have a lot of work to do. And today at Developmental Disability Awareness Day, whether you're advocating for the waitlist campaign, supportive decision-making, or funds to help those with dual diagnosis, and whether you're hybrid watching online and doing virtual meetings with legislators, or you're here in Tallahassee at the Capitol, I hope you now feel empowered and feel like you can make a difference. Because as one of my favorite quotes says, if not us, who? And if not now, when? Thank you.